Foreign relations of the Philippines are administered by the President of the Philippines and the Department of Foreign Affairs. Philippine international affairs are influenced by ties to its Southeast Asian neighbors, China, the United States, and the Middle East. The Philippines is a founding member of the United Nations, an elected member of the Security Council, and participant in the FAO, International Labor Organization, ILO, UNESCO and World Health Organization. Like most nations, the Philippines is a signatory of Interpol. The Philippines is a member of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations and East Asia Summit. It was formerly a member of the now-defunct Latin Union and the CETO. Declaring itself as independent of any major power bloc of nations, the Philippines is a member of the non-aligned movement. Economically, the Philippines is a participant in the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, Asian Development Bank, the Colombo Plan, Group of 24, G20, G77, the World Bank, Next 11 and the World Trade Organization, WTO. Foreign policy Philippine foreign policy is based on the advancement of Filipino ideals and values, which include the advancement of democracy and advocacy for human rights worldwide. The nation is currently actively engaging with regional neighbors in Southeast Asia through the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, as a founding member, with the intention of strengthening regional harmony, stability, and prosperity. It has been a supporter of East Timor since the latter's independence and has expanded trade links with its traditional allies Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and Thailand. Relations with Vietnam and Cambodia have thawed in the 1990s after their entry into the ASEAN. Ties to the United States have affected Filipino international relations. The Republic of the Philippines considers itself a staunch ally of the United States and has supported many points of American foreign policy. This is evident in the Philippines' participation in the Iraq War and the War on Terror. Speaking to this support, U.S. President George W. Bush praised the Philippines as a bastion of democracy in the East and called the Philippines America's oldest ally in Asia. President Bush's speech on October 18, 2003 was only the second U.S. presidential address to the Philippine Congress. U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower delivered the first. With a robust relationship to the United States, the administration of former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo sought to establish closer ties to its earlier colonizer, Spain. This was inspired by the attendance of King Juan Carlos and Queen Sofia at the June 12, 1998 celebration honoring the centennial of the Philippines' independence from Spain. President Macapagal Arroyo made two official visits to Spain during her presidency. In recent years, the Philippines attaches great importance in its relations with China, and has established significant cooperation with the country. The Armed Forces of the Philippines has been a participant in various regional conflicts, including the Korean War and the Vietnam War. Recently, the Philippines sent peacekeeping forces to Iraq, in addition to civilian doctors, nurses and police. However, the Filipino mission was later recalled as collateral for the release of a Filipino hostage. As part of a UN peacekeeping operation, Philippine Army General Jaime de los Santos became the first commander of troops responsible for maintaining order in East Timor. The Philippines is in tension with rival international claimants to various land and water territories in the South China Sea. The Philippines is currently in dispute with the People's Republic of China over the Camago and Malampaya gas fields. The two countries are also in dispute over the Scarborough Shoal. Additionally, the Philippines has a disputed claim over the Spratly Islands. Relations with other Asian nations have been strong. Japan, which has been an active donor of aid, has close ties with the country. Relations with China have recently been expanded, especially with regards to the economy. The presence of a large South Korean expatriate community has led to the expansion of relations between the two nations. India has also been an important partner, as have countries outside of Asia such as Australia, Mexico, New Zealand, and Saudi Arabia. In recent years, the Philippines has been distancing itself from the West due to its active role in the non-aligned movement and the G77. This trend is reflected in its recent positions on Kosovo, Iran and Israel. 
Its relations with Japan, Indonesia, Australia, and Vietnam have strengthened into a new depth due to closer regional diplomatic, economic, cultural, and defense cooperation and the flaring tensions in the South China Sea dispute. Despite this, its relations with its defense treaty ally, the United States, remains vigorously strong. On the other hand, relations with China continue to deteriorate due to disputes concerning the West Philippine Sea, which is in the eastern portion of the South China Sea. Relations with Malaysia have been in a cordial and diplomatic stance due to safety measures since Malaysia was found to have been funding Islamic terrorist groups in the southern Philippines in the past due to the North Borneo dispute. The country is campaigning for Timor-Leste's membership in ASEAN. The Philippines is an active member in ASEAN with close ties with most of the members of the organization. It is expected to be the biggest economy in ASEAN by 2050. Relations with specific countries and regions Note date of formal relations may have discrepancy of one day due to differences in time zone and the location where the agreement establishing formal relations was signed. Asia Africa Americas Europe Oceania Relations with former states Multilateral relations Issues International disputes The Spanish administration governed various Pacific island colonies from Manila. These include the present-day Guam, and parts of Micronesia, all of which were given separate administrations under American oversight after Spain transferred power to the United States in accordance with the Treaty of Paris. Spanish Manila also governed possessions in Borneo, Halmahera, Taiwan, Pulau Ternate and Pulau Tador, all of which transferred to non-American entities after the Spanish-American War. Saba Sabah, the largest region which the Philippines claim, is now an integral part of Malaysia. On January 23, 1878, Sulu Sultan Jamalul Alam leased or ceded, depending on translation used, his territory in Borneo, in which is now Sabah, to Austrian Gustavus von Overbeck. The Sultan was paid 5,000 Malayan dollars per year for the agreement. In 1882, Sabah became a British protectorate, became a British colony after World War II, and joined the Federation of Malaysia in 1963. Philippine Presidents Diosdado Macapagal and Ferdinand Marcos openly claimed Sabah. The latter even ordered Sabah to be put into the Philippine map. Despite challenges of the Philippine government to bring the matter of the dispute to the International Court of Justice (ICJ), Malaysia still rejects those calls. During 2002, violent mass deportations of illegal Filipinos residing in Sabah resulted in more clamor for the Sabah claim. Up to this day, Malaysia still pays the annual session payment of 5,300 Malaysian ringgit to the Sultan's heirs. Sulawesi Sea Islands the case of Sipadan and Ligitan, which were in dispute between Malaysia and Indonesia, was taken into the ICJ, in which the former won. Sipadan and Ligitan are technically part of Sabah state, and thus would be part of the claim of the Sulu Sultanate's heir, the Philippines. Macclesfield Bank Macclesfield Bank, located east of the Paracel Islands, distantly southwest of the Pradas Islands and north of the Spratly Islands, is claimed by China and Taiwan, Republic of China. Some sources state that the Philippines claims this underwater feature. However, Jose Zaid, a Philippine diplomat of ambassadorial rank, has written that the Philippines does not claim the Macclesfield Bank. Scarborough Shoal The Scarborough Shoal, Panatag Shoal, located west of Palauig, Zambales, are claimed by the Philippines, the People's Republic of China and the Republic of China. The Philippines bases its claim on its close proximity of the Scarborough Shoal to the Philippines. It also says that the Scarborough Shoal is within the Filipino Exclusive Economic Zone and argues terra nullius. A Yuan Dynasty map dated as early as 1279 is the basis for the claim of the people's Republic of China and the Republic of China. 
They argue that the area was historically used by their fishermen. Spratly Islands The Spratly Islands are a group of islands, reefs, and rocks located about 300 kilometers west of Aborland, Palawan. The Philippines, along with the People's Republic of China, the Republic of China, Malaysia, Vietnam, and Brunei expressed claims. The Philippines officially staked a claim to some of the islands during the United Nations Convention, although it was first expressed in 1956, when Tomas Cloma, a Philippine mariner, declared some of the eastern Spratlys as a protectorate of the Philippines. Based on proximity and on the United Nations Archipelagic Doctrine, the Philippines can claim some of the Spratlys as an exclusive economic zone EEZ. Whether these arguments, or any other used by the Philippines, would hold up in court is debatable but possibly moot, as the PRC and Vietnam seem unwilling to legally substantiate their claims and have rejected Philippine challenges to take the dispute to the World Maritime Tribunal in Hamburg. See also Territories claimed by the Philippines List of diplomatic missions in the Philippines List of diplomatic missions of the Philippines List of diplomatic visits to the Philippines List of ambassadors to the Philippines References External links Department of Foreign Affairs, Republic of the Philippines Permanent Mission of the Republic of the Philippines to the United Nations